Well, I think it's a myth, and a lot of historians do as well, that science and religion are necessarily in conflict. Hmm. I think as a final codicil, I would say, it depends what religion you're talking about. <laughs> I'm talking about the Judeo-Christian worldview, because science conflicts with a lot of religions. Hmm. I love that they're finding agreement on this point, because when people say that religion is bad, it's sort of like saying that ideology is bad. Well, which one, right? It's not specific enough. Now, we don't have time in this video to get into the claims in certain religions about semen originating between the backbone and the ribs or anything of the like, because I don't want us to lose the plot here. Now, I'm gonna fast forward to where this gets very juicy. This is Dr. Linux explaining how the discovery of functional information within DNA really puts a nail in the coffin of materialism. Within computer science and biology, nowadays people use the, that kind of terminology. They use computer language in biology, and they use ordinary language about words in computer science because there's a very intimate relationship. Mm -hmm. In that, I think, what many biologists say to me, and in reading their, their material, that it's word-like in the sense that the DNA letters code for the amino acids, which code for, yes, uh, that's yeah. the word, which code for the proteins, which are the building blocks of life. So if you like to say it's an analogy, but it's an extremely powerful analogy because mm. at the very base level, you're communicating information. Now, this is a difficult area. Yes. I'm very well aware that if you ask me, what do you mean by information? It's like so many things, we don't exactly know how to define it. Yeah. It's like Augustine said about time, everybody knows what it is until they're asked to define it. Yes. It's one of those uh, things. But one of the things I believe that has come out of physics, although that's debated uh, up to today, is that information in the sense of we live in an information-based world is not derivable from physics and chemistry. Now, that to me is a massive block in the way of a materialistic explanation of life, mathematics, everything else. Because if information is not in the end material, mm then no material explanation is going to work for it. 